Hello, today we will continue chapter 9.4 KSSM on Human Digestive System. Content standard for today's lesson is on 9.3 Absorption. The learning standard 9.3.1 Identify the structure of a villus in the ileum. 9.3.2 Communicate about the adaptations of ileum and villus in the absorption of digested food. In the previous subtopic, we have seen how the complex molecule in the food is hydrolyzed into simpler molecules. So in this subtopic, we are going to see how these simple molecules that are produced from the food digestion are absorbed in the small intestine. That is the last part at the small intestine, which is known as ileum. So now, we are going to see the adaptation of the ileum to ensure the absorption of digested food is happening efficiently. Look at the structure of an ileum. Okay, now we are going to cross section the small intestine that is the ileum part. So you can see inside the ileum there are many projection structure. Okay, this one is inside the ileum. So these structure are known as villi. Villi is plural. So, if we only take one structure, it is known as villus. Villus is singular. So, now we are going to see the adaptation for villus. So, villus has the following adaptation to absorb nutrient efficiently. The epithelial cell of the villus, epithelial cell meaning the outer layer of the villus. Okay, so the outer layer which is known as epithelial cell, it is only one cell thick. Why is it one cell thick? So that the nutrient absorption will happen at a faster rate. Next, okay. Villus also has goblet cells. In the next slide, we are going to see the goblet cells. The function of the goblet cells is to secrete mucus. This mucus is to help the process of digestion. Next one, we are going to see network of blood capillary. Okay, this is the villus. Inside the villus, you can see the blue and red structure. A lot of them. So this one is the blood capillary. So the network of blood capillary will help to transport the digestive product that has been absorbed to the cells, to the whole body. Next, inside the villus, there is also like teal, the green color here, which is part of the lymph vessel, meaning it is part of the lymphatic system. So this like teal will transport the fatty acid and glycerol. And there is also intestinal gland at the villus that secrete intestinal juice and this intestinal juice have digestive enzyme that helps in the digestion process. Now, we look at the surface of the villus itself. On the surface of the villus, you can see more projection, more small projection structure. These structures are known as microvillus. Okay, so the function of the microvillus is to provide large surface area to increase the rate of nutrient absorption. In this picture also, you can see goblet cells. If you still remember, the goblet cell, the function is to secrete the mucus. So, the green color inside the, uh, the goblet cell is the mucus. Okay, now just for your information, okay, a medical specialist who specializes in human digestive system is known as gastroenterologist.
In this picture, you see a cross section of a villus. So these substances are all the product from food digestion. They are already in the simpler form, which are glucose, amino acid, fatty acid, glycerol, lipid droplets, galactose, and fructose. Okay, lipid droplet is formed from fatty acid plus glycerol. Okay, so as you can see, okay, the triangle here, which is fructose, this one is galactose, this one is glucose, okay, will move into the blood capillary. And then this one, which is glycerol plus the fatty acid, okay, combined to form lipid droplet will move into the lacteal. We have come to the end of this subtopic. If you want to take the quiz, you can take the quiz by clicking at the link provided at the more info section. Don't forget to click the like button and also the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.